Today we're gonna go for another snow goose hunt. You may remember the last time I literally talked about like the blue morphs the entire time. I wanted to shoot one of the blue morph geese that was supposed to be kind of like a second common variation for the snow geese and we couldn't kill any and I found out the reason why in today's game update that was probably two or three days ago by the time this video comes out. Basically the blue morphs were actually being called melanistic and were spawning like incredibly rare and anybody that did kill one actually gets to keep it as a melanistic in their trophy lodge. So I kind of wish I would have grinded a little harder uh, and maybe got one of those, but they are actually spawning properly now. They should be known as blue commons instead of the blue morph. But I definitely want to see if we can get one, kind of see what they look like, and maybe see if we can improve our leaderboard position. I actually killed a pretty big one uh, just in grinding to see if I could get a blue morph after that video. I think it was like 4480, something like that. It was pretty big, but... We'll see if we can improve, but at least I want to get a blue morph today. Okay, that's a big moose, 205 to 230. I was literally just thinking as I was sitting here, one of the best things about snow goose hunting is going to be this ability to see, like, so far and potentially kill cool animals. But, yeah, we're going to go and smoke that real quick. I didn't actually think he was that big. But if he's over 200, that's awesome. We actually have geese coming in. Uh, but I want to get the moose regardless, so what I'm going to do is super quickly grab, I want to shoot it with a 4570 buffalo rifle, but I'll get a smarter weapon choice. We'll probably get the 340 if I can find that in my inventory. Yeah, and that can take the big scope. So we're probably going to have to let this flock get away, unfortunately, unless we get really lucky. I mean, I'm going to head back towards the blind. We'll see if we can make a shot on this dude super quick. I don't know how far that is, but hopefully we're fine. Yeah, good. They haven't broken yet, or they just did? I think they're spooked, and I believe that middle one there is actually a blue morph. Yeah, you see that bluer color on him? Now, I have the 22 pistol, so I may be able to clutch it, but I couldn't hit these. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was about to say I couldn't hit these to save my life in the last video. One shot. Easy. All right. Well, so uh, goal accomplished. We killed a, a blue common. I keep calling them the blue morph now, but... We got that, and we also shot a pretty nice moose, so I think we're probably going to go and claim that real quick after we pick up this goose, just because I don't want to forget about it, because that was a good one. But also, wherever our goose landed here, we get to finally see the color I've been looking for on these since they were released, because I saw it in like the, um, the reveal picture, and it looked cool. So yeah, common blue. He's pretty decent at 3.6. 36, 38 is a decent score. I didn't really want to leave the dog out of this picture, but I just feel like zooming in to see the variance there in the feathers is worth it. So I'm not going to taximize it. Like I said, we did kill a pretty big one. And now we have more coming in that we can maybe actually properly get with a shotgun. But again, we're a bit away from the blind. And they must have seen me out here even with my ghillie suit. I think we're just going to stick with our one for one uh, shooting with the 22 and go claim that moose quick because I really don't want to lose that. From this angle, we can tell he's actually pretty big. The angle we had, it just didn't look like his antlers were all that big. But you really get to see it from here. He's actually a really nice one. Take a look at what we got here. He's double lung at 250 meters and a 219 moose. That's the biggest one I've killed in probably over a year. And it's because I went goose hunting, of all things. And as per usual, I like to lean the gun into the moose antlers there. That actually turned out to be a pretty nice picture, I think. I don't want the, uh, the breath showing from the dog, just to have him a little clearer in the picture, but I do believe I have room for that in my trophy lodge. And now we're going to head back. Now, real quick, I will show my spot again, just in case you're curious. It's this little area down here in the southeast on White Rhyme Ridge, just since we've already had a good number of geese come over, if you want to try it, but sounds like we actually have more, which I don't think we're going to get to unless we fast travel, and I do have camping supplies, so we'll do that. More moose, too. Where did you come from? I don't understand how sometimes these things seem to break. That's actually another one of the uh, common blues. Let's see if we can get it to actually come back around for us. But really, I have no idea what flock that came from, but it seems to be the only one. So, at least it'll make it easy. But, from what I've seen, there's actually a decent number of them in the flocks, so they're, they're certainly like a actual common variant now. Got a good sized flock coming over, so let's get that quickly. And hopefully they're a little less secretive in their breaking this time, but 
Yeah, good to see that they're spawning properly, it seems. Alright, so we got at least three to break out of there. We'll actually flag and see if we can maybe convince any others. Yeah, it'll be probably more than we can possibly shoot, but that one at the top actually looks a good bit bigger than the rest of them. Now, I will say, the big one that I shot, I said this a bunch in my video, like, a lot of times I don't really seem to actually see the differences. They look big and then they don't actually score really high. That was a double. I saw a couple of high score ones. That's another blue morph, I think. And I brought the snow camo 22. I don't know if I'll be able to hit anything. There we go. Well, we were two for two. That's a female, so I'm not going to waste my ammo, but I saw a bunch of, uh, like the 3,000 to 4,000 score ones, so maybe one of them in there was actually good. So we actually got a much bigger blue, a 3919. Now, this one here, you can see, is just way bigger than the other two, so I'm hoping I may have actually been right in saying that one's actually big, and I'd say, I think I actually saw that. Uh, 4,300, 4,269 is a, a pretty big one. I don't know if I'm going to bother trophy shotting that, like I've killed a good bit bigger, and of course we have the common blue that we shot that looked really nice, but kind of glad that I actually could see the difference on one, and it actually showed up in the score. So we had another 3,900 and just the little uh, female common blue, but that was actually a good flock of them. So two blue commons, and that one in the front again looks a little bit bigger. I didn't think it stood out as much like this last time, but actually the three that I mainly wanted to kill all went the same direction, so that's useful. Might be able to get a double on these two. Let's say we did, and we can get that one too, so that actually worked out. Pretty much perfectly. And they landed close enough, I'm not gonna wait on the dog. We'll just grab them super quickly here. So the one that is in the common blue here, I think maybe could score decent, but it also could be that the two blues are females, and now well, this guy's actually decent. Pretty much the same size as the first one, and I thought this one looked a little bit bigger, but honestly on the ground, not really. And yeah, it's about the same size as the other males, so. Nothing super special there, and I believe this last one was a female. Yeah, another 2.2. Most of the females seem to be right in that area, which is actually kind of weird. I'm not sure about the magpie geese, but I know, like, all the duck species and then Canada geese, like, there is a lot of variance with the females, but that seems to be a really common number. Well, we got one to break. Most of the flocks that are coming across here just aren't breaking now. And I'm not really sure why. I'm wondering if I should go put the dog back in the tent and see if that makes a difference. Because I know that was a thing in the past where sometimes there was something in the game where if you had a dog with you, the flocks wouldn't break. That was with, I think, ducks and geese, but... Man, yeah, we might as well get this one anyway. Little female, but... Take it as close as we can since we're gonna claim it on our own and go put the dog away. Because I want to try to get another flock or two before we wrap this up. But another 2.2, I really... Don't know about that. There's some kind of weird thing. At least they actually, like, have a little vocalization that shows up on the hunter mate. But there's no sound of them coming in, so I'm completely unaware they're, like, flying in. Then they happen to make that call and at least tell me. Wow, that was laggy. I always forget. At some point in the game, there was an update that made, like, shotguns into the ground insanely laggy. But I feel like either I've gotten way better at shooting, or there actually may have been a hitbox thing going on with the snow geese, because I'm really having no issues with the 22, whereas last time I couldn't hit them to save my life, but... Yeah, something to pay attention to. If you hear the audio clue, and you don't know that there's any geese around, good chance they're actually flying in, and you just gotta look in that direction, but... One of them was a decent male. I don't know what the other two were, actually. We have a 2.3 female, which is at least different, I guess. And that's going to be 100 snow geese for me, I think. They actually stopped showing the number on the achievement, which is a little bit weird. I have no idea when or why they started that. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's 100. And then this was our other one here, which is another 2.3 female. But, yeah, um, I think we're going to try to get one more flock just to... See if we can come up with anything else cool or good size. And then we're going to go back to the trophy lodge. They actually added a new snow goose trophy position. So we can look at the one 
that I mentioned killing, and then we actually have to throw that moose in there as well. Though if this flock doesn't break, I don't really know what's going on, because I just had another flock come directly over me in the same way like that, and they didn't break, so maybe it's just been bad luck, and maybe the dog had nothing to do with it. Because those guys did. And I'm not sure, they might all be the blue ones? It kind of looked like it, but... Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Let's see if we can maybe double up with these front two. Alright, cool. So that'll be a decent way to end. We got a double there. I hear more coming, but that's kind of what happens. No matter what, when I try to end, there's going to be more and more flocks of geese to come over. So we'll just be happy with our three and head back to the lodge to throw the moose in there. Unless one of these is also actually worth mounting. But once again, 2.2 female. And we have two that look pretty similar size, so I don't think there's going to be anything special here. Another 2.2, and if we can get this one to claim. Eh, 2.4, so slightly bigger female. So I'll just quickly look as I'm getting surrounded by ice. I just want to make sure there's not an albino in that flock that's coming over, so I'll take a peek before we go to the lodge. So all commons there. And we get to actually make a trophy lodge edition because the last moose that was here was 216. So now we have a 219 and a 221 over here. So I don't actually know. I believe this 221 was the last biggest moose I've killed. And that was December 5th of 2018. So it's been a while since I've shot one this big. It's actually pretty nice to see. And of course, when I'm going to goose hunt of all things. But yeah, uh, this is that big goose that I mentioned. And they add that new pose. So get the one with the wings open. And then just kind of, maybe we'll have it go in the same way as the Canada Goose, but it's somewhere pretty high up on the leaderboards. I don't remember exactly where, but pretty cool to actually get a good one. We got another decent one today, that 4200, but obviously this guy is just a little bit better than that. But yeah, thought we'd do another Snow Goose video, especially since those common blues were actually properly fixed now. And we got a bonus moose as well, so definitely a good little hunt there. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.